Hi everyone, let's begin. How we are going to analyze time series analysis with the help of eViews. So I am just showing you how we can calculate all these things. So let me understand. I'm just closing all these files. At fresh, I'm going to start. So you can see here, delete. Okay, fine. Yes, we are deleting it. No problem. No. So first of all, what we have to do, simply we will go there, file. And after that, we will open a new file, foreign data file. And this file is already put it here in my eViews folder. That is on the desktop. And on this desktop, you can see here, this is my folder. And I just want to open this file. So you can see these are my variables. This is the year, first column. Second column, you can see country. Third is FDI, GDP and inflation. Next. And after that, header lines. That means it is asking in my first line, these are the headings of my columns. Yes, of course. And uh, let me, I will simply press name next and I will press next. And because my data type is number, it's a time series data. So I will press next and again, I will press finish. And I will press here is no, no. So you can see this kind of data you can see here. These are the C stands for, these are the coefficients. Here is the one particular, uh, this one is the country. Next folder. Next is FDI, GDP, inflation, residuals and years. So I, because my three main important variables are FDI, GDP and inflation. So let me click here, open group. Now you can see these, this is the dialog box will open. Now you can see, this is my dialog box and this is my data. Now what we have to do, simply suppose, first of all, for any data, you want to calculate descriptive statistics. So what we have to do, again, I'm repeating my stuff. We will click here, view and descriptive statistics, then common sample, suppose I'm just pressing common sample. So now you can see here, this is the data you can see. Mean, median, maximum, minimum, standard deviation, skewness, kurtosis, chi q vara, and probability sum. All these variables, all these, this is descriptive statistics you can see here. Now, suppose you want to carry all these descriptive statistics. So, simply you have to click here, freeze. When you are going to click here, freeze. So, now you can see here. I am just selecting this entire entire this data and what I will do because I need this data simply I will select this entire data and just selecting this is the data I required and I will press copy and there is the format is text I require or using highest precision right so I had simply selecting using highest precision and I will press ok and this is my word document and simply because this is my research in my research paper i would like to report it so i had uh, simply pasted here now you can see simply i had pasted here now you can see this is the my data but this is not accurately that is pasted you can see here this is the and if suppose what is the difference i just want to show you what is the difference if suppose I am selecting this data, this data, and I will press simply copy and as displayed, first one, I will press OK. And now again, I will paste it. Then you can see what is the difference between as displayed and higher precision. You can see this data would be like this. So I require this data in that format. I require this data in that format rather than in this format, because that is in a haphazard manner, so I cannot use in my research paper. So finally, the descriptive statistics I have taken into consideration. After that, what we have to do, we will go there view, and I just want to check, and I'm just, uh, just, just, just closing this file. Now, one more thing, what you can do, you can save this file also, name, so I'm just writing not table one. This is my descriptive statistics. So I will press descriptive DE. Simply I had given this name. So later on also I can access OK. And I'm just closing this file. 
and I'm closing this file also. Right? Delete untitled group. Here is. I will press yes. And now you can see this my result output in this folder. You can see here this is the one new folder has been created. And now you can see this is the entire result is here. And now what I will do and you can say simply I am just closing this file. And now I want to calculate, I want to see this particular data, right? Here is, you can see, again, mm -hmm. I'm going to select all these three variables. And I would like to create one new group file. And I just want to see after descriptive statistics correlation. So simply, I don't want, I had selected, I'm repeating this step, view. And view icon, then after that covariance analysis, I will select it and I will deselect this covariance because I don't want covariance. I simply want correlation and I will press OK. Now you can see this is my correlation. And this correlation values also simply you can select it, you can copy and simply because as displayed right, rather than using high precision, I will press OK. And what I will do, I will press here in my Word document. You can see either in that way or in the similar manner, you can do that. What I will do after this, now we are doing regression. So I'm just closing this. Okay, fine. One more thing. Suppose you want to later, right? I'm just writing here. Here is name. I'm just giving this file as name. This is correlation and I'm giving this file name as correlation and I will press OK and I'm just closing this. You can see there's the one more new folder has been created here. That is correlation. And here is in the correlation, you can, you, you can open group and now you can see. Just a moment and uh, we can once again we can save this file. And after this, I just want to show you where is results because correlation results are not uh, here. I will, I will show you later. And after this, suppose I want to do regression analysis. So what I will do, simply I need these three variables, FDI, GDP, inflation. I will press here, open group, and these three things has been created. And I would simply press quick you can see there is the one tab is here quick and i will go there here is also you can do group statistic like descriptive statistics covariance correlation everything you can do it here and i will press estimate again i'm repeating this my step otherwise estimate equation and estimate equation what equation i want to create so you can see FDI is my dependent variable. First, you will write FDI, that is your dependent variable and simply press it here, FDI. After that, I'm writing C. C means what? C is my coefficient. Then after that, what are my two independent variables? In my study, GDP and inflation is my independent variable. So simply I will write GDP. And when I will write GDP, you can select it GDP. And then again, you have to give a space. And next one is inflation. Simply, I would write inflation and you can select this inflation also. Then press and here is also yes. What kind of settings you want to do? You can see n number of the settings are here. I'm not doing generalized linear models, stepwise least square, nothing. I'm simply doing this one is the least square and less. And this is the this is I'm doing and simply I would press OK. Now you can see my dependent variable is FDI, method is least square, date is today's date, and time is sample and included observation. Nine observations are here, you can see. And all the results R square is adjusted R square, standard error of regression, some squared residuals, each and everything, F statistics. And now I would like to select this and suppose I want to save first this file. I'm giving you this file name is as regression and I would press OK. This folder I will show you later on and I will select this entire data and I will copy and simply I will 
paste this data in my word file where I want to report it, right? No, no, it's not selected. Just a moment. Let me, yes, text is as displayed. Okay, okay, fine. And I will press here and I will paste it. You can see entire regression result is pasted here. So I hope you can understand interpretation we will do in the coming up videos. But regression, I'm sure you understand how we have to do time series analysis with the help of e-views. I hope this video would be helpful. And uh, thank you. Keep watching.